What's good, y'all? How we doing? We back. Technical difficulties last last time we tried to do this, but don't worry. W's in the chat. Yes, sir. All right. I haven't seen shop yet, so let's see what this is. Hey, Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, banana day. Okay, so it's just the Ely and Monks. Okay. Uh, nothing really that interesting. This is cool, I guess. Okay, yeah. What's good, everyone? All right. Um, human bill. Okay. Uh, okay, that's it. You know what? I'm gonna play ranked. Oh, oh no. Okay. This is happening again. Okay. Um, give me one sec. BRB. Um. Why is Wi-Fi not working? There we go. Okay. There. Okay, wait. Hold on. I think we're good now. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. All right, there we go. Um, We're going to do ranked. Oh. I'm in. Rank zero build. So this is my best ranked. Don't worry, don't worry. We're back, we're back. Ooh, okay. Okay, we're getting a lot of people back. W, W. But yeah, I don't know how many newer viewers we have, but how do we feel about Star Wars in, um, in the game? I think it's a W. The new Star Wars thing. I think it's a W, honestly. What's up, John? John Herbert. That's good. I don't know. Star Wars looks fire. It's good. I don't care. This is like being hyped up to be the biggest one so far because it's like across all the modes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first Star Wars collab we've gotten since the new modes come out. Like, we haven't gotten a Star Wars skin since Chapter 5 or since Chapter 4 Season 4. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait for when he gets to 100k. Oh, okay. We. Uh, but yeah, but I'm not getting to 100k in, until a couple years. Let's go, buddy. All right, I can't do this forever. I gotta go. All right. <clears throat> Say we land over here, get the water penny mythic from there. Never really cared about Star Wars. I don't really care whenever it collabs with Fortnite. Your editing is good. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. Dang, why do I have this giant glider? All right.
I just realized my glider just comes out of nowhere. It spawns out of thin air. It's crazy. All right, everyone left. That's crazy. Wow, we are at one viewer. Okay. Oh, four. Okay, there we go. Come back here, boy. Oh, I see you're landing here because... The YouTubers, the YouTubers said it was the best drop spot, right? Huh? Is that what it is? Still here, probably just looked up. All right. Uh, I'll take the drum gun. Good content plus good editing equals 100k soon, hopefully. One day, bro. One day. Don't worry. Let's go dance there. Where's the train? Oh, there it is. Front jump is mission impossible. Screw you, Cora. Your shell's mid. Avatar better. Avatar better. Hey, I'm him. Gold two. I don't care, bro. Good ranked, bro. I want to fight box. Mm. I'm going to do Clone Trooper. Actually, no. I'm going to do Darth Maul. I'm going to do Darth Maul. Bro, I'm hoping so badly that we get lightsaber pickaxes soon. Just found out the stream was back up. Yeah. I made a community post about it, so hopefully more people come join. I started watching it when it said 26 seconds ago, unrecommended. Just got the cabbage emote. I need to play some creative to get XP if I want to get that emote. Nobody asked, but I did it. Hey, man. All right. Uh, probably land here. Two viewers yeah like people just keep joining and then leaving like i'll have like times where i have like 15 or something and then i just like just play octo game it's a really fun way and you get xp quick all right i'll do it sometime off stream i don't think i'll do it on stream because i just wanna i just want to play battle royale and talk to you guys you know Yeah, I was hoping there would be a hotfix update today, but I guess not, so. Oh, I forgot to jump. Sorry, I was looking at chat. Yeah, I guess I'll just go here. Dang, you got more than I usually do. It's one of the top maps. You should find it easily. All right. And there's search, so. I need to find a better way to stream, though. 
Xbox needs to find a way to like stream from Xbox to YouTube. Oh no, water bending. Whoa! Ah, oh, he had a legendary hit. How would y'all feel if I did Avatar Mythics only again? Level 161? That's cool. Wanted to ask you, lol, I need XP. Ruddy, if you're at one, 161, if you just play the season, you should get, uh... You should get it not too long after. But yeah, let's do Avatar Mythics only. Hmm. Oh man, I forgot about this skin. I'm a rocket, I'm a rocket. It is knockoff Iron Man style. One with the Avatar Mythic sold me a few days ago. Feel like the hot picks are always pleasant to yell since Snitty Smiths, even though no one lands there. You know what? You bring up a good point. It's because they want people to land there. They want people to land there because they, like, hey, you know what? Like, there's more POIs than just the Underworld and Mount Olympus, and, like, so they just do that. But to be honest, when the season began, until the Avatar update, I only landed at these POIs. Like, I would not land anywhere else. The entire map just felt, like, empty to me. That's good. Yo, Luffy. Luffy, one piece to my chat. That's crazy. I, chat, I haven't watched One Piece yet. Should I? It's on Netflix, so I might have I might, like, watch it. kind of hard because the mythics are kind of trash but i did it nah what are you talking about the mythics are so cracked avatar mythics only let's go let's get it nah i always drop reckless where i was it's like two different maps I don't really like this map. It doesn't have that many good spots for me. I like the Underworld and Grimgate, but so many people land at it. I will admit, I feel like... I feel... I'm just gonna say it. This is probably the weakest map. I didn't like Chapter 4's map, but to be honest, this map is probably the worst. There's not enough diversity. It just all, like, blends in because it's, like, the same sort of architecture, you know? And so it doesn't really feel like diverse, like the other chapter one and like two and three and even four. They all had like diverse maps with like different biomes and stuff. And so it all felt unique. Here it's just like, oh uh, yeah, they're all European architecture. So like deal with it. Where's this dude? What the? What? Epic is on a realism. Where's this dude?
Yeah. Who lands at Rebel's Roost? Someone does. Uh, his name's a virus. He always joins the streams. And uh, somehow he lands at Rebel's Roost. I don't know how he does it. They're losing what made Fortnite Fortnite. Normally, I don't like to be one of those, like, Fortnite's losing its identity kind of people, because in reality, it's not. Like, it's still the same core game. You still get, like, fun items. You still get, like, good things in the game. But, like, art style-wise, it definitely does feel like they're taking a change. And they're not taking enough creative leaps. Ooh, airbending. I'm dead. Dang. Oh well, let's try this again. Let's go press start. Virus is weird. Nah, he's chill, he's chill. That one time he was like spanning him the bread thing in chat that was weird though we should make a theme park poi that could be cool actually that would be cool i've said this a couple times before but what do you guys think they're gonna do for og this year because they said they're bringing it back so you think they're gonna do like truly og like chapter one season one or like Chapter 2 or like someone like that. What do you think they're going to do? Honestly. Maybe make it longer. If they did make it longer, they would probably, like... I don't know. I don't really know, to be honest. If they did make it longer, that would be cool, but, like... Combine all the previous maps, that would be hell. Honestly. Chapter 2, Season 2. Maybe. Yeah, lots of y'all. Lots of y'all are saying chapter two, season two. I think eventually they'll do an OG chapter. Anyway, yeah, what I was saying, um, I think eventually they. Give me one sec.
All right, sorry, y'all. It's good lazy link work. But yeah, I think eventually they will do an OG chapter two, but it's not going to be this year. They just won't have enough time to like completely redo the chapter two map. It's just not going to happen. Uh, no avatar mythic so well. I really hope they don't bring it back. I, it's gonna come back no matter what. I wouldn't mind it. I think like honestly, it's good. It would be good to go back to OG every once in a while because the one thing I don't like is that people are saying that if Fortnite went back to OG permanently, all of their problems would be solved. Because it won't. The game would die. Um, the entire. It's just. What was what is this kid? Oh, crap. earthbending metal. Oh, this dude really thinks he can just heal. Three earthbendings. This is as good as I can do. I would really like a season. I think the reason we liked that season so much was because it introduced all the vaults and stuff. That does definitely like play into it a bit, but you know, will you remember us that keep coming back to our streams when you get popular? I can't guarantee that, bro. I don't know. People are blinded by the good old days. I would say there is a certain charm to OG that doesn't, it's not just nostalgia, but a lot of the times, yeah, people do, like, just think, like, ah, Fortnite was so much better because uh, it was OG, it was OG, the game was simple, you know, but, like, in reality, it was just, our lives were different, you know, like, we were just kids, or, like, just in high, some of you might be, have been in high school, and so we just, like, They need to introduce a cool system where you could pick up whichever season you would like to play. I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of Fortnite because it's like, why would you play the new season when like you can just play it in a couple weeks? You could just play it when like next season drops. Like, oh yeah, I, oh yeah, this season's cool, but I like this season a lot more, so I'm just gonna play this season forever. Eventually, Epic's just gonna stop making seasons because you have access to every single season, you know. I hope they have a Mortal Kombat theme one day. They're not going to have a Mortal Kombat season, but they probably will, like, eventually get a... Oh, this person had all the Mythics. Uh, not all of them. I'm going to take two water bendings. Fortnite will really never be perfect, and Return of OG will remove a lot of stuff, which most of which people like. Like I said, I think it's good to go back to OG, like, for a month. I think that's a good thing, like. But I do think there should be something where it's like, we're going to go back to OG for a month, but it's an LTM. So, like, you don't, you aren't forced to play OG, you know? But like one really funny thing I saw was like people saying that the o this kid in the comments said the OG season is so terrible I want cars back. The only reason he hated OG was because there were no cars in the game. <laughs> oh, person. Where's this kid? Oh bro, you really think you could just heal? Oh. Uh, all right, there we go.
No, I remember the car clickbait. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. Let's not see. Can I get anything? No, okay. Wait, why can't I buy crew? There was like a crew thing here, right? Can I still buy it in shop? Wait, what? What happened to crew? What happened to the Fortnite crew? What? All right, that's weird. But um, sorry for the Tesco spam last stream. Just don't do it again, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was mad annoying. But like, I love how the stream lagged out perfectly for me when you said "oh." But yeah, like I'm saying, I think like an OG LTM for like a month would be cool. I did not get a win. Not yet, bro. Okay, I think we can go here now. I'm gonna make sure I land here. So I wanna f actually, I'm gonna still do Avatar Mythics. So I'm gonna land at the airbending place. Because airbending is just gonna be good for mobility, and then I can use it to travel to the other shrines. The pass was good though. I liked the pass. Which which pass? Can't wait for the Star Wars theme. Same, bro. Star Wars theme is gonna be fire. I would like a Spider Verse season, to be honest. I wouldn't really know how that worked. We have all the main characters from Spider Verse, and we have a lot of Spider Men in the game. So, like, the OG pass. Oh yeah, the OG pass is fire. But um. Yeah, a Spider-Verse season, I don't really think would work. I don't really know what they could do other than add wipe shooters and maybe some, like, portal mechanic. New Star Wars mini pass soon? I hope, bro. I doubt we're going to be getting another mini pass. But I, I, I'm praying. I'm praying. But you know what? I did see this in, um... A, a news video uh the senior director and like head the head director of battle passes and event passes quote tweeted the star wars thing the star wars announcement so um, i'm praying i'm praying imagine we get like a star wars skin in the crew back imagine a yoda backlink Oh yeah, yeah. The Yoda backlink would be, would be cool. Lord Palpatine would be fire. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Palpatine is like my number one most wanted Star Wars skin, right behind Jar Jar Binks. Maybe a customizable Spider-Man instead of multiple skins. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. The one that Luke uh, uses in Empire Strikes Back. That would be funny. I would 100% cop that. By the time Star Wars event comes around, if the if the skins are good, I might just have to buy V Bucks. A customizable Spider-Man skin could work, but like I don't know. Wait, what? Oh dang. See if earthbending is still there. Ooh, wait, hold on. Nothing. Jar Jar Binks crew skin. 
Mace Windu purple lightsaber pickaxe. Just a lightsaber pickaxe. I just want a lightsaber pickaxe. I don't care who it is. I just want some lightsaber as a pickaxe will. It would be kind of cool if they brought back chapter 3, but at that point, it isn't OG anymore. I don't think chapter 3 could be considered OG. If they did do it, they would probably have to call it something like Fortnite Rewind or something. Like, not OG. Our wallets won't survive the Star Wars collab. I'm, like, holding back on buying them for the Avatar collab, bro, because the skins are fire, but I'm not, like, a big enough Avatar fan. I, I like Avatar, but I'm not big enough of... But I'm not, like, big enough of a fan to buy most of the skins. I bought Aang, though, because... Thanks for that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, he's on me. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. You can, like, wait, can you go backwards with this thing? No, okay. Oh, yo, speeders in Battle Royale would be crazy. And I was talking about this with some of my other friends at school, but um, imagine if they added like AT ATSTs or ATATs on the map. How broken do you think those would be? Like, just imagine like you just land at like the underworld <laughs> and there's just an ATAT just sitting there, like, huh, all right. Yep. Okay, so far all I have is airbending, so I think I'm screwed. Oh! <laughs> Season 7 plane situation. <laughs> the game with the avatar mythics it's so easy that's what i'm trying to do but i can't i landed at airbending because i thought it would be easy to get the other mythics but i'm having trouble bro hopefully i can find one if i do a supply drop will it like What's your favorite email? I don't know, really. Uh, probably, probably, probably gritty, but oh crap. Bro, pod racing and rocket racing. Oh, yo, that would actually be fire. Oh, yo. But they didn't announce anything for rocket racing. Only for Lego Festival and Battle Royale. Nothing for uh, nothing for Rocket Racing, bro. Dang it, bro. Been watching this for thirty five minutes. It feels like only ten. Alright, I can hire Meowsles and he'll he'll be like a cheat code. Cause he, technically I'm still using the Avatar Mythics, you know? So it's it's not cheating. Crap, he's gonna hire him before me. Get him, Meowsles. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. Don't 
Don't fight me. What did I do? Oh, get him. Get him. Yes. Yes. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Stupid cat, bro. Stupid. I'm not doing Avatar Mythics anymore. It got leaked. It got... Really? Lego carried my childhood. Lego Star Wars carried my childhood, bro. The... Not just the sets, but the video game. That on the Wii went crazy. I don't care what anyone says. I went back to revisit it, so... Still one of the best games ever. I don't care what anyone says. See? Lord Planka gets it. He knows what's up. Honestly, Lego still cares. I don't care. Wait, there's new weekly quests? I didn't even know. Wait, there are? Oh shoot, there are. Okay. Let's see. Uh, destroy supply drums at hops box. Hit players with shockwave grenades. Use patch-up service. Okay. Mod. Mod weapons. And search an underworld chest at Grim Gate without... And leave without taking damage. This should be easy, right? That should be simple. I'll get out. And we'll get in and get out right away, right? Brother, we Lego Star Wars. Exactly, bro. Nah, but the one game that I think is underrated, Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. I don't care what anyone says. It's peak. It's peak. I like the complete saga a lot, but... I like the complete saga more, but, uh... Did you do the storyline quests? Are there new storyline quests? Okay. I'm waiting for Cerberus's to come out, so... Using your code, bro. Love the videos. Thanks, bro. Love your vid on the front of the auto. It has to be removed from the loop pool. I... To be honest, I didn't really like making that video that much, and it's not doing too well, so I don't know if I'll do any more rant videos. I might do a couple more if I like genuinely feel like I have to make a rant video, but... Imagine we get a tattooing style racing map. Exactly, bro. That's what I'm thinking. Dang, bro. Dang, Miles. Quests all around are amazing, so I can get to a level 200. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna change my skin. I feel like it's too bulky. What's like a sweat skin that they have? I guess Eevee. I don't really want to wear Eevee though. I like Spectre Knight, so I'll just rock her. The OG pass was so good, bro. I hope they do another like um, OG pass when they do OG again, because I want like more. I want them to cook again with these skins, because, like, look at this, bro. Look at how amazing this looks. Uh... Alright, I'm not going to do the Grim Gate quest, but, uh... Hot spot, so I'll just go here. I'm going to use guns. Clone Troopers. We already have Clone Troopers. Should make a rant video about the walker. I do not like it, but, like, at the same time, people are overreacting, like, sending death threats over, like, some pixels on a screen. I don't know, bro. 
Like, my next video is about, like, how the Fortnite community needs to chill out. So, like... Uh, OG2 should be chapter 2. I bought a human deal. W. I think he's cool. I just can't afford him. I hope they bring back collab skins from Battle Passes. Me too. I feel like it's kind of stupid. Like, if they brought back... If they brought... I feel like they should just bring back any Battle Pass skins. I don't see why Keely, like, basically the face of Fortnite, should be locked behind a Battle Pass. Oh yeah, also guys, this locker, this umbrella says May 4th, 2024. What do y'all think that means? Oh wow, a lot of people are landing here. Okay. Whew. I just need to grab a gun and then shoot some of the supply drones, so... It'll be easy. I'm, I'm gonna do my quest. I'll be on my merry way. Thank you very much. Oh, this is an all out war. Dang it, bro. One more hit, it would have been dead. Peak Wars? Exactly. I, I didn't know people got mad over the locker. Like, I mean, to be honest, like, look. Why, why do we need multiple presets? I get, like, for cars and instruments and jam tracks, but why for, like, why separate the emotes and the raps and, like, the lobby? Who's making a preset for their lobby? Be honest. Preset for emotes, I, I guess... But, like, even then, they remove rarities. It's, like, it feels clunky at times. Like, I don't know. Star Wars, my favorite movies of all time. No Chapter 3, Season 3 means no Vader. Yeah, I'm convinced the return of OG is going to be Chapter 2. I don't think there isn't enough hype around Chapter 2, okay? Like, with OG, it was hype. Because, like, everyone wanted it. Like, even people who don't play Fortnite would have played it if the OG map came back. And it showed. They did. But I feel like for Chapter 2, that's when, like, a lot of people who quit the game, that's that's around the time they quit it. So. It's hype in the Fortnite community, but not, like, in outside the Fortnite community. I feel like that's the one reason Epic brought back OG was so that way they could make some hype in the Fortnite community, you know? What's real painful is that Aang has two skins. They aren't next to each other. They... Well, maybe in your locker. I'm pretty sure in mine they should be. Wait, you might be... Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, the locker is pretty bad. But, again, I feel like people, like... The death threats are not necessary. I feel like that should be common sense. Like, don't send someone death threats over a video game. But I guess the Fortnite's community is just built different, you know? Actually, I make a lot of you presets. Stop lying, bro. Stop lying. Stop the cap. I wouldn't care if the UI looked better than the old. I feel like the UI... Honestly, I feel like they should revert the UI. It peaked in Chapter 3. I'll say that. It peaked in Chapter 3. After that, after that, they just kept making weird decisions. Yeah, for sure, the way, that's way too far over a locker is crazy, exactly that, like. I have one lobby preset, and it's the one I use when it's a collab, so I can switch back to it very easily. I don't really make a lobby preset. I have my icon as Peter Griffin, 
my music pack as whichever music pack is during the chapter, and then my loading screen is just random favorited loading screens. I might like low-key change my music pack back to make sure to stay hydrated chat. Listen to press start bell. Hydrate before you dehydrate. So Just in case you guys don't know, dying is not lit. Why can't I open this? Stupid. Jeez, bro. Though worried that Epic are gonna raise the prices of skins. I think that that's something that people are just kind of like worrying about. I feel like eventually they were gonna raise the prices of skins anyway. Like, inflation is crazy, so like naturally they're gonna have to raise prices, but like. They could have done it in a better way, just saying like, hey, due to like recent events happening and like inflation, we're gonna have to like raise prices, you know? I feel like the community would have accepted it a bit more, you know, like. Yeah, nah, bro. Leaving that. Never mind. Well, they raised their prices of V-Bucks for inflation. Oh, you're right, they did, so. Hi, Toph. back. It raised the prices of V-Bucks $22. Hmm. I guess you're right. It does kind of suck, but the world right now is just in a bad place. When COVID hit, I knew it was down. It was the downfall of humanity. Oh my gosh, bro. This dude, where's this dude? Oh, he's down there. Okay, okay. Not bad to be a lower level. It only raised by one or two dollars. Thirteen hundred was raised to ninety. Wow. To be fair, everyone's been raising their prices.
soon we're gonna have a robo invasion. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think AI is advanced enough yet. It's advanced, but I don't think it's advanced enough to cause an invasion yet. I actually have a quest. Alright, what other weeklies do I have? Pur purchase patch up, so I just need to do some fall damage and find a vending machine. But, bro, how did that not give me fall damage? Bro. Okay, this has to give me fall damage, right? If it wasn't for that stupid thing, bro. How do I... Man. Yeah, until I, I can draw a handshake, we're safe. Isn't $70 AAA games the norm now? I think it is. It sucks, but I think it is. I think, other than Tears of the Kingdom, I'm pretty sure Nintendo is still keeping their AAAs at $60, though. So I think we're good. Until Nintendo... Oh my gosh, okay, I'm just gonna need to do fall damage somewhere else. Or like... I'm gonna get up there. Thank... Fall damage off the mountain has to be someone, right? Gotta fall from three stories? Alright. Does anyone have crew? If so, is there a glitch where they're not letting you get your thousand V bucks? I don't have crew, so I'm not sure, bro. But talk to Epic about it, like email them or something. All right, there we go, there we go. There's gonna be a vending machine here, so who keeps going on the zip line? Oh wow, okay. How does he see me? No mending machine? Dang. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Let's keep looking for gas stations then. Okay. Let's go to this one. I wish they ported Nintendo games to Steam. Oh. Nintendo's too stingy of a company to do that. I do think there should be a law where, like, because I th I'm pretty sure like some form of emulators are like illegal. I'm pretty sure it should be legal. Like, you own the game, you can do whatever you want as long as you own the game and you aren't like pirating it. You should be allowed to legally do whatever you want, like install mods, um, have like. Have like all the things, you know. Ooh, bunkers opening up. Let's go. Like a mob weapon. Still nothing? Alright, I'm just gonna go to the bunker. That was a weird company. What's this? Earth bending? I'll take that. I 
just came back, and what are you all talking about? We're talking about uh, how inflation sucks. Honestly. Nintendo's way too strict on stuff like that. Yeah. Nintendo in general, like, taking down fan games, like... Y'all, who's more stingy with their IP? Nintendo or Disney? I mean, is like, who... Who likes sex more? It's good, like it. Okay, can I get a patch up from you? No. Nintendo? I don't know. I don't know if y'all heard, but uh, one time Disney like ordered for some. some stuff to be, like, taken down off daycare walls, because it was Disney's property. Like, they had drawings of Mickey Mouse and, like, Donald Duck and, like, all of them on, like, some daycare walls. Disney, like, said, like, yeah, we can't have that. We're gonna, You're gonna have to take that down. If you couldn't tell my profile picture, I'm worried. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, nah, bro. Get back here. I know you're low. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Bruh. I'm waiting for the official Mother 3 translation. Did Disney stop them from putting Spider-Man on some kid's grave? They did. They said, like, we don't want you to put Spider-Man on your child's grave because it ruins the magic of the character. Which, like, ugh. That sucks. I see where they're coming from. Like, they don't want their character associated with death. But at the same time, it's a four-year-old kid. His favorite superhero was Spider-Man. His father wanted to, like, respect him in the best way possible. Get back here, boy. Stop fizzing all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. That's what I thought. Stupid. Oh, you kid. Oh, no, this kid. There's this kid. Oh, no, 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 no. You think, you think you're so slick, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, get back here. Let the child have Spider-Man? Exactly, bro. Disney and Nintendo make good stuff, but they're such L companies. I, I like the I like Disney stuff. Like I like Star Wars, Marvel, I even like some Disney movies. But them as companies, they just suck so badly. Hey. That's good, my guy. Oh man, dang it. They're both greedy. Another dumb thing related to Nintendo. I also heard them suing because the Joy-Con, someone who made Joy-Con designs a tribute to Etika. That sucks, bro. Bro. R.I.P. Etika, bro. Alright, chat. Um, Which super style? Artemis or uh, what's her name? Aphrodite. Which super style?
I'm gonna do this, yeah, why not? All right, um, all right, let's try rocket racing again, see if this is any good. If not, I don't know. Why does Cerberus not have super styles? Well, you know, you're right. Why doesn't he? He should. Get rid of uh, Aphrodite's. Wait, let me see. When do these new quests. Five days? Dang, okay. All right, bro. Let's get let's get it. Rocket racing. I haven't touched rocket racing since I got the free skin in season one. I've been coming back like once every stream, did a race, and then rage quit. That's all I've been doing. And to be honest, I don't even know why I grinded for that skin because it was mid. Maybe it'll end up being rare eventually, but like, it's mid, it's mid. Alright, let's see here. I don't see any Lamborghinis, so I think we're good. The drifting feels, like, very weird. It feels unnatural, in a way. It doesn't feel sharp. It feels, like, slow and clunky. Ugh. Oh, wow. Okay. No, I suck at this. Oh, wow. <sighs> what the heck is this? What the freak, bro? At least I'm getting some XP out of this. Oh, I'm going fast. I hate this game. You should do festival. I'll get copyright strike. Will mechs ever come back? I hope they don't. Rocket racing is the worst mode. Okay. Has anyone else noticed this? Zero build has had more players than normal battle royale. And I don't know why. I like Lego Fortnite until I got some glitch in the frost, and my game crashed in the frost lanes, and I lost all my items. And then got burnt out and stopped playing. I thought you didn't get copyrighted if you had had a code. No, I I get copyrighted because it's not Fortnite doesn't own these songs. The artists still own the songs, like. So if I play, the, like, the song in full, I'm going to get copyright striked. Mm. 
you have a code, you don't get strikes. I don't think that's how it works. That's that's not supposed to happen. I'm sorry, y'all. Stream just doesn't want to communicate. It's good, the real dodge. All right, there we go. Really misguided missile. When zero will, it would be LP. I miss rocket launchers in general. They just don't have rocket launchers in the game. Stream does like crashing. Hold up a second, guys. Let's play some random creative map. Let's pick a random creative map. I'm not going to play the pit. I'm actually going to unfavor it. Oh, it fell off so hard. It fell off so hard. Look at 30k. It would have 100k. It fell off so hard. Oh my gosh. I'm going to play Tilted Zone Wars. And just... Turn off voice chat. So I don't hear a bunch of little kids. Not a private game. I said not a private game. What about non-copyright festival jam tracks? I'm not gonna play those, bro. Havoc Punk should return. Havoc Punk was goaded. I missed that shotgun. Star Wars Cantina music for festival or jam track would be hard. Oh, it's confirmed. It's coming to the game 100%. Uh, festival said, like, they quoted the Star Wars announcement tweet and said we can hear the Cantina band. So... Like, no offense, but I really don't want to play, um, what's it called? Swim free <laughs> in Fortnite Festival. Every fish in the sea is the one for me. From the fin to the deep, I swim so free. Free, free. When I festival solo. Let's see how many of these people have either Twitch or YT in their name. Let's see. Wait, am I playing Tilted Zone Wars? Or is this Tilted Trios or something? Okay, this is Tilted Zone Wars. Alright, I'm gonna turn my mic off. And I'm going to join the voice chat. Alright, none of them... Oh. None of them have YT in their name, but that's fine. Sea God or whatever is so peak. Nah. That's good, not super. I want Cantina skins, though. I don't know. Like the Cantina band skins. I hit the Twitch and YT kids. And the thing is, when you actually do look up their YouTube names, it's like, they have 1k subs. And the only reason they have all those subs is because they had one popular short. That was just like, a stolen, typical gamer clip. <laughs> and they cry when they lose. 
a good thing I have um what's it? Cooked by skillets. Oh my gosh. And he has the the what's the golf skin though. Oh wait, you could just spam this? That's cool. Is this only chapter five weapons? That sucks. Oh my gosh. I'm in your box, bro. I think I got another nominee. This game's overrated. And sometimes they aren't YouTubers or streamers. That's true, actually. Not even level 100 yet, though that's probably because I only got the fast one Cora dropped because she was the only skin I cared for. Well, Cora was like announced to be in the game beforehand. She wasn't like a secret or anything, so like you could have just. What's this? The Pit Zero build. Is this made by Gearsy? Let's see. Did you know Toph doesn't move her eyes on emotes because she's blind? Wow. That's actually cool detail that she doesn't like actually move her eyes. I feel like we should just do like some chill, you know? Like just chill out. Not do anything like super. Nothing super crazy, you know? Eh, let's just do Battle Royale, I guess. Okay. You really don't see too many good YouTubers slash streamers like you. I respect people who read chat and real. I get big Just can't read everyone's chat. And this is why I like smaller streamers. Thanks, bro. I like ch chapter four. Please don't hate me. It's it's okay. I don't I don't hate it. I don't think it's a bad chapter per se, but I hated Wilds. Chapter Season 2 was good, but it wasn't like top 10 Fortnite, and the rest of the seasons were mid. And I'm not really going to count OG. Play one of those cursed box fights. Lego? I don't really want to do Lego, I'm not a survival guy. Y'all hear me out, Star Wars season, yes or no? Chapter four is the second best chapter. Uh, I don't know, buddy, I don't know, I don't know. Wilds was the death of me. I could go here and actually fight the boss. Star Wars season for how long? Like the length of a normal season, like maybe two and a half months. Like a Marvel season, but like for Star Wars. I'm not 1v1ing anyone. Chapter 4, Season 4 was good. It was mid. It, it it started out good. The Rocket Ram was fun. It was cool to have the Mythics back, but they just didn't update it. And the Fortnite Mirrors that year was pretty mid. Don't know what they would add. What are you talking about? They got lightsabers. They got um blasters, speeder bikes, POIs, um... Just like there's there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of characters they haven't added yet that they could do in the battle pass. Like Mace Windu, exactly. 
Next one, you can do you can Django Fett, uh, Jar Jar Binks. I'm trying to think of some more. Um, Qui Gon. Thing is, people that don't like Star Wars probably play Fortnite a lot less. That's true, but that the same thing was true for the Marvel season. Like people who didn't like Marvel probably played Fortnite a lot less. I didn't even like Marvel, but I still think that that's probably like my third favorite season ever. This season might is probably going to go into my top five if they do the Star Wars event right. If not, it'll still be top 10, but oh my gosh, of course I find the minis. Of course I find the minis right after. Whatever. Palpatine at level 100. Whoa! This kid. General Grievous, exactly, bro. General Grievous is awesome. You know what would be cool if like his pickaxe was like four lightsabers, and it was like a built-in pickaxe. C three PO Chewbacca. Chewbacca's being added this thing. Chapter five being your second favorite chapter, something? I don't, I don't know about my. We're it's too, it's too early in the chapter. This is a good season, and last season was okay. on page seven that's oddly specific chapter five season two is top ten if they do the star wars event right then it's going to be top five for me Probably go up there and get the airbending thing. I'll just go and slow for a little bit. I remember chapter three was just being spam heaven. It was kind of spam spam heavy. I will give it. I will admit that. Darth Jar Jar could have an edit, a Darth Jar Jar edit style. <laughs> They're doing a Star Wars event this season? Yeah, I know. That's why I was saying. A Star Wars event would be, a Star Wars season would be fire. Chapter 3, Season 3 is top 3. Interesting. I didn't hate that season. I thought it was a good season. And it's super overrated. But top 3? 
I don't know. I don't know about top three. Why does it only say one view in it for me? Huh. I don't know. Maybe you guys are just staying here. Like. Everyone just left. Oh, great. I'm falling off, guys. I'm falling off. I don't know, bro. Hear me out. A Mortal Kombat season. Thing is, I don't think Mortal Kombat could work. I understand, like, where you're coming from. Some, like, some, like, Mortal Kombat, like, sort of thing could be cool, I guess. Like, a Mortal Kombat collab, yeah, that would be cool, but a season? I don't know if that would work. I don't know. About the mini pass with your code? W. First skin, you should get a customizable droid or Jedi and Sith. Definitely a customizable Jedi or Sith. Customizable droid would just be eh. There's at least four people here, but it just says two viewers. Refresh, refresh the page. Maybe that'll work. And like it'll give more viewers. Now what? Well, there's gotta be there's more than I know, guys. Maybe I'm just falling off. YouTube must be glitching. Has to. There's no, may no way my streams are this bad. Eat this. Ooh, I just beamed that guy. Holy crap. Hey, you stole my kill. Man. What? I thought that was my SMG. Oh my gosh. Dang it, bro. There's five of us here, at least. Yeah. Dang. Wait, will the Force Mythics come back this season? They probably will, yeah. But I'm hoping we get more Force Powers, like maybe Force Lightning. That could be cool. Zero viewers, what the hell? Wow. Give me one second, guys.
Hold up, y'all. My channel's like bugging. It's like my channel's gone. Let me check something real quick, guys. I'm gonna close my game. There's no way my channel got deleted. It's like it's not working for some reason. Subscriptions for like my channel just aren't working. I don't know why. Hold on, let me. My channel's right. View my channel. Bro, what? Okay, okay, we're still here. We're still here. We're good. But, like, my YouTube accounts are, like, bugging. YouTube hacked your channel. Hold on. Y'all, like, check my... Check my channel. See, like, can you, are you guys, like, subscribed? And, like, because my, it's not my channel, it's my account. And I click on it, like, three times, and then it just reloads for me. So I don't know if someone's bugging with my Wi-Fi. But, like... What is happening, bro? My possible last moments. Ooh. I'm subs. It says yes. Okay, good. So what? Someone must be wrong with my Wi Fi. I'm an end stream. Wait, I might not want to end stream. Hold up. Most elaborate subscriber plugged ever. No, but like, actually, what? What's happening? No way my account got hacked, right? Yeah, my channel's still here. I still got all my subs and stuff, but like, it's just not loading. No way I got banned. What could I... Let me check my email. Maybe I got like an email for something. What? Something's happening here, guys. And I, I wish I could tell you what's happening, but... I, I I don't think it's Wi-Fi if it's happening to you guys, too. Because... So, yeah, I go on YouTube Studio, and it's all fine. My channel's all here. It doesn't say I got, like, a copyright strike or anything. I'm all good. But, like, I go onto YouTube itself. And it's like, oh wait, hold on. I think we might be good now. Possibly. Make a second channel. Is it by done? Is it Jove? What would you get banned for? That's the thing, I don't know. I might have to check Wi-Fi. I might... Okay. Let's see if this... Let's see if this works. I'm going to connect to a different Wi-Fi on my phone. It says subscribe to channels you love, even though I'm subbed. YouTube. It's glitching your subscription. All of YouTube. So it's not just me. It's just subscriptions that are glitching. 
tell me, is it just my channel or is it like all of YouTube? We're live and we're witnessing the great YouTube break breach of 2024. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Let me let me check my subscriptions. YouTube's tweaking. Dang what? Hold on. Let me. My subscriptions are completely fine. I still got like all my subscriptions. Agro, Clark, Rembrandt's, Offhand, Emanations, Big Tug. Yeah, I I have all my subscriptions. Is it seriously just my channel? Because I can't load my ch My subscriptions page is working fine. It's the end times. We ain't going to survive without YouTube. Dang. My what? Let me check YouTube on Twitter. See what's happening. I clicked on a channel and it said something went wrong. Dang, guys. My career, every YouTuber's career might be over. It has to be YouTube. Okay, I'm still going to stay live. And we'll just chat here. I'm not going to play Fortnite. I just want to see what's happening, you know? So what? Let me, let me check YouTube. Is it... Okay, let me search it. Let me know, guys. Um, Like, open up another tab or something and, like, click on a video. Let me know if you can, like, watch a video. YouTube. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, they haven't said anything yet. I'm back. Okay, we'll dance. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Yep. Yep, it's definitely someone on YouTube because, like, there have been, like, tons of reports that just skyrocket, like, they just skyrocketed, like, not too long ago, so it has to be, has to be YouTube. I can watch channels. I can watch, but channels don't work. Hmm. So, it's just something wrong with YouTube, then. Someone's someone's happening. Someone did the government ban YouTube? No, nah, they would ban TikTok. YouTube's breaking. Dang. All right. How would you guys feel if like I have a new reactions like um thing set up on my stream? How would y'all feel if I just did some reactions? Because right now I don't really feel like playing like Fortnite, and I'm like at risk of losing my channel. So. How would y'all feel if, like, we reacted to some videos? Like, drop some content creators you guys want me to watch. And I'll, like, search them up and react to them, you know? See how it is. Reaction channel? Yeah, guys, I'm gonna be XQC. I'm gonna be XQC, guys. Alright. Drop some, drop some people you guys want me to see. Family content. Game Theory Fortnite. The Gamer. <laughs> if I search The Gamer, it's just gonna, like, show up a bunch of weird... Not weird, but, like... Like, it's just... <laughs> okay. Searching it up. There's, there's a 2009 movie called Gamer. Yeah. Um, okay, so, let's see. I would check my subscriptions, but, you know, but I'm like, I, I could probably, like, pull up my stream and just, like,
All right, you got it. Yep. Um. All right, I'm just gonna like go on the YouTube homepage and just see if I can find like a video or some. Let's see. The entire story of Fortnite Explained Supercut Edition. It's by Rem Rants. I didn't know he uploaded that video. How would y'all feel? Storyline reaction video? Did you guys want to see that? Entire Fortnite storyline. All right, all right. Star Wars sound jump scare? Exactly, bro. I, I got jump scared by Star Wars. <clears throat> but yeah. Guys, I'm officially a reactions YouTuber. Let's see how this goes. Oh, dang, it's not working. Hold on. Let's try this again. Yay, bro. I'm a reaction YouTuber. Oh, wait. What was his name? Remrance, right? Uh, yep. This is him. Love you too, bro. All right. Let's go. Hey, it's Rim, and this is a super cut edition of my Fortnite storyline two-part series. Which I is bet. Like 43 minutes long. I really thought that I was better at paraphrasing and summarizing than I ended up being. But there's a lot of layers to this story, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy the full finished product. I bet. If you like this video, and if you like the series, which I know you did because your comment said that you liked the series, that would really mean the world to me if you could like and subscribe, because I am a very small percentage. We got Lil Smurf reaction before GTA 6. I've delayed this enough, so let's get into Hold up, wait. Guys, uh, I, I like this YouTuber a lot. Um, he watches me, I know that, I don't think he's watching stream right now, but I know for a fact he watches me, because he's commented on a few of my videos. Go subscribe to him, man, he, he makes W content. Okay, let's see, his quality is terrible. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's go. Bet. The point of everything. Okay. Of it all was reality zero. But this, there was an incredibly large amount of it, but instead of spreading out across the universe, it collapsed in on itself and created a singularity known as the zero point. Hmm. The zero point is wait, that's that's how it's I thought I thought wait, hold on. I thought I thought the zero point was just God. Like <laughs> straight up. Subscriptions is still broken, but the viewing glitch is fixed. I don't know, bro. It still says I have one viewer. I thought, but I thought the zero point was just God. Like, many creatures and beings have tried to control the sphere, and as the search, it created the Iron Fist. Mm, okay, that's how it works. Wait, I thought that wasn't until like chapter two when like the zero point just like exploded. And then it made the chapter three island and the chapter. Jesus, is that you? Capturing the orb and manipulating its source power. His name? Geno. At this point in time, he was the. Bro, why don't we have a Geno skin yet? I know, like, we have the Ageless, but, like, the Geno skin, like, from Hello, wait, he showed a picture of it. One man changed everything. Capturing the orb and manipulating. This dude. This dude right here. Why don't we have a skin of him yet? We should. At this point in time, he was the leader of an ancient kingdom only known as the Earth Dragon. Mm. He wasn't satisfied with his current position. He believed he was destined to be the perfect leader of this perfect society. So when he discovers the zero point, he makes his move. Geno realizes that it could be the key to his perfect society, and he abandons his kingdom. However, okay. he continues to find a throne in himself known as the Ageless, who will return in chapter Oh, two. wait. I thought, I thought, like... Oh, the Aegis is a snapshot. Okay, I thought he was just Geno. Okay, that's interesting. The throne Geno left behind is called a snapshot, which is a copy of someone seen in Geno Elite the Loop. The Loop initially worked very differently than it does now, but once Geno could manipulate it, he transformed it into a tool to help his evil plans. 
for the mysterious inner circle would have been created to group Lone only as the imagined order. If Dilbert had I don't care what anyone says, the imagined order is much more interesting than just um what's it called? Turn it up. Bet, bet, bet. Hold on. Hold up. Uh this is probably good. Uh yeah, right here. Right here. Uh, oh, that's really good. Is this, the zero point this better? Is able to control the storm, people's memories, and even unlock immortality. Jeno wanted to recruit people for his society, so he altered the loop. Now it is sentient, and it forces people to fight each other every twenty. Wait, years. what? The loop is sentient? How? How is a loop? S what? Wow. Okay. It does this by wiping their memories and removing their speech capabilities, and the IO starts to kidnap people from different realities to participate in this evil test. The best fighters were offered a deal from Geno that truly could not be refused. They would work for him. It's 3 a.m. I'm going to sleep. All right, no problem. And their entire family could live on the island outside of the loop forever. Oh, okay. The organization was going strong all the way until a group of seven mercenaries from different realities found a way to escape the loop on their own. And one of those like super intelligent beings is the is Dwayne the Rock Johnson, bro. Like. <laughs> and they began fighting the IO to free the zero point. They are known as the Seven. All right, chapter one, the point of reality. How, how is it sentient? It's just them using the zero point to, to make a loop. Exactly, bro. Like In season three, a mysterious object appears in the sky. Panic ensues as the citizens of the island realize that it is a meteor. The residents of Tilted Towers are especially distressed as most believe the meteor is headed... <laughs> I'm sorry, just hearing the sentence, the residents of Tilted Towers, I don't know why that's so funny to me. Like, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know why I laughed at that. Right for them. Luckily, it crashes and destroys Dusty Depot instead. A disguised imagined order... Dusty Depot better than Dusty Divot. But they were too late. Before they can get there, somebody walks out of the meteor. This is the visitor, and he has developed... Oh, a okay. Him from the effects of I thought it was the scientist that came first. He Never spins mind. a rocket from a film set and converts it to Rift himself back home. Mm. Unfortunately, the rift in the sky stays open, and darkness sees its chance. Oh, that's why! So, like, a rift opened up, and so they, like, saw that it was the chance to bring the cube to the island. Okay, that's interesting. Lightning strikes, and out of nowhere... Imagine living in tilted, insane, honey, the sweat. <laughs> uh... Have to leave by some area. Alright, see ya. The surface of the island. It roams around searching for the immense power that it turns out to be the zero point. Oh, okay. It finds that the source of the power is in Loot Lake, and it melts into the water. The zero point barely manages to defend itself, but the peace doesn't last for long. A power hungry ice king arrives on the island with an army. Because he can't survive the normal climate of the island, he brings the ice a king. massive iceberg with him. But what the citizens of the island don't know. The ice king event was so disappointing, bro. I'm pretty sure my game crashed. Like when me and my friend were like watching it at his house, the game just crashed. <laughs> was that this iceberg is secretly a prison, and some of the most powerful and evil beings are trapped on it. One of these beings is known as the Fire King, a rival king who has mastered the opposite element. Scientist was from the season X my year. Oh, okay. He was thought out when the iceberg crashed onto the island. The Fire King's plan is to create a massive volcano that will wipe out the ice. Wait, I thought the Fire King and the Ice King were chill. Massive war that takes place. With the Fire King losing the battle and being frozen in the depths of the ocean. However, the Ice King can't stop the volcano from erupting and destroying some of the island's biggest communities, including Tilted Towers. No! No, not Tilted! Oh! No, no, no! No, don't hit it! Don't hit it! Oh, yo, we're at five viewers again. Let's go. No, not Tilted! No! Not Tilted! Oh, no! Please, no, no, oh, not tilted, no. YouTube's finally fixing, let's go. One of these fireballs hits the iceberg and thaws out one of the biggest horrors in all of history, the Devourer. While this monster poses a threat, the Imagined Order are somewhat indifferent. They don't really care about the island, they only care about the Zero Point. Sloan wishes to make a doomsday weapon to wipe out all life on the surface, including the monster, but one of her prisoners- When I was a kid, I low-key thought this was Godzilla. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't. I like thought that it was like, oh, Godzilla live event. Let's go. Like when the Doom, <laughs> the Monster versus Mech event happened. I thought they. It, I thought this was Godzilla. The paradigm has a different plan. She makes a deal to pilot a massive robot suit and kill the monster herself, saving countless lives. That's got subscriptions are fixed. Holy crap, guys! She's pulling- Guys! It's the Halo Sword! Let's go! Oh! Oh, what? I forgot how brutal that was. Dang! Oh my gosh. After the battle, she escapes off of the island in order to not be recaptured by the I.O. And to invest- I told you not to leave the stuff. <laughs> For this action, the Seven see her as a- did you think the mech was Mechagodzilla? No, bro. I thought it was just a, an original character, bro. A coward and a traitor. When they find that she crashed onto the ice moon with temperatures too extreme for human survival, they assume that she's dead, and they move on. But the Imagined Order has bigger problems than this. During the fight, the monster broke into the Zero Points vault, and Paradigm used the orb as a weapon. The point oh, starts to disabilize, okay. breaking down all of time and space as the meteor returns, frozen in midair, bringing yet another seven member. Wait, how did they get frozen in midair? This is the scientist, and he already has a plan. To okay, the down. scientist comes in the season the next one. Up. Around the map that draw power from the zero point to some rockets, and his plan to reset the zero point is now in motion. He rifts the meteor to right above the zero point, and as it collides, the point resets reality by becoming a black hole. Okay. Whoa, what? I never watched the original live event when it first happened. I was sick when it happened, so I couldn't go over to my friend's house to watch it. I was so mad. Oh, this mu this music brings me back, bro. Time was frozen. Oh, okay. I was at church when it happened. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta praise Jesus, you know? Let's go. Viewers are fixed. Let's go. Smurf, what, what's your user? I'm not playing Fortnite right now. I'm just gonna react. I'm kind of getting tired of playing, so I'm just gonna react. I remember my friend was like, oh, that was the map. <laughs> After 48 hours, the black hole splits out a new island. This time, there are two sides that lay on either side of the orb like a massive sandwich for extra protection. Mm. The Imagined Order wanting control over this new island... Oh, wait. So, like, the Chapter 1 island was just in a bubble, but then, like, the flip side was added when, um, the black hole happened. Okay, that makes sense. ...their best recruits, but they're met with their snapshots. However, these snapshots aren't normal clones, as they have been altered in a malicious way by the evil chaos we'll agent. The the chaos agent is an evil mad scientist who works for the crime syndicate called. Sh this music brings me back later. I never watched. Okay, listen. I watched the video live. Like I watched. Um, I, I think it was laser beams. Not laser beam. It was courage. Courage's stream. I watched his stream live when it happened. So, like, the music, the music still, like, it brings me back, you know, but... Shadow. The leader of this mysterious organization is known as Midas, an enigmatic and powerful crime boss who has the curse of the Golden Touch. After stealing the treasure of a king, this curse was bestowed upon him. And now oh, that's how he got it, okay. Gold. Midas is essentially kicked out of his own organization by Chaos Agent. He leaves and... Wait, what? I thought, I thought he was the leader. How did he get kicked out? What? Am I insane? Did it say Chaos Agent was the leader? His large amounts of money to create a new organization called Ghost. Instead of a crime syndicate, Ghost is actually a secret agency, one that spies on all of the secretive and potentially malicious activity around the map. 
Midas quickly discovers the secrets of the loop and the horrible plans being enacted by the Imagined Order. In an effort to do the right thing, Midas' daughter Jules builds a device set to destroy the loop while Midas wages war on Wait, Shadow thought, as a distraction. I thought Midas built Midas the device. The secret to destroying the loop is pushing back a storm. Because the storm kills all life on the island every 22 minutes, if the storm didn't kill anybody, then the loopers would be free of the IO's wrath. At least, that's what Midas opposes. However, the Imagined Order has already been keeping tabs on him, and they know a lot. In particular, a field agent by the name of John Jones is assigned to him. Jones However, is easy. he fails because he isn't able to stop Midas in time. And what was that? John Jones is assigned to him. However, he fails because he isn't able to What is this? What am I looking at? Stop Midas in time, and the device event has already begun. This was such a good event, bro. I like this event a lot. Travis Scott better though. I remember like the reveal of like Jonesy's voice. That was so cool. Uh no, everything is not. I was about to watch. I was actually about to do that. I thought it was good. Travis Scott event was just better go. Oh yeah, I remember just seeing this and I was like, we're dead. And that worked? How long do you think it'll hold? Good. Good. Everything is uh, starting to stabilize here. Nothing seems to be... Jules made the device, but he engineered it. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can you hear me? The device pushes back the walls of the storm, but something happened that could have never been accounted for. The storm is actually alive, and it's under the manipulation of the Zero Point. It summons massive walls of water around itself to protect it, and these walls collapse and flood the island, wiping out everything Midas worked so hard to build. And then he Trapped dies. On a raft, he is eaten in a shark attack, and his soul is sent to reside with Hades in the underworld, the Greek afterlife. Mm. So there's peace on the island for a brief time, and I say brief, because when the Zero Point reset this universe, it created a massive surge of energy. So powerful, in fact, that it attracted a being that is- Whoa, what is happening with my quality? Is this just the- uh... Survived through several trillions of years. It's just the video. The oh, that's how he came to the island. Has my life gone? It's going good. My friend and I was there. GG, boys. We're- the devourer of worlds. Why couldn't we just drink the water? You just solved the Fortnite storyline, bro. Wow. Someone put a timestamp of, like, uh, in the stream. Like, once the stream ends, put a timestamp of, like, when I thought my channel got deleted. I'll, like... To help us thwart his plans to consume the Zero Point and has installed Tony Stark as the head of the team. Iron Man has a plan too. He builds rift beacons all over the island to bring his personal facility here. And then he constructs thousands and thousands of modified- Not only that, he lost his hand. I thought he lost his hand from Kato Thorne, because how else would he find it? What I think is like, the shark didn't kill him, but Kato Thorne did, and like cut off his hand. And then like, traveled back. Battle buses to fight Galactus. But this isn't an ordinary firing match. Tony wants Galactus to eat all of the buses so he can remotely detonate them from within. <laughs> Every bus I know it's like a big part of the plot, but like, imagine this, like, you just get a little, you're, imagine you're like a giant, like, just god, you're like big enough to destroy entire realities, and you get a little bit hungry, and you eat a battle pus, and then you die. <laughs> Imagine that. It could have been me, could have been me. Technology found from Tony's lab, and when they were all activated, they sent him away from Reality Zero for good. 
but Galactus exposed the zero point before he was defeated, mm. which led it to destabilize just like it did in Chapter 1. The Imagined Order, again, doesn't want to do anything about it. They just want to make sure that nobody escapes. So they send Agent Jones on a mission through 88 different realities to recruit the best bounty hunters in the multiverse so they can hunt down potential HKPs. After months of searching, he returns to the island, only to find that the Zero Point is an absolute shambles. He pleads with Sloan to try and do something, only for her to ignore him and not listen. Reality log. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the point of recording these logs if you're not going to listen? We've lost control of the Zero Point. Do, do you get what that means? You must not All right, I remember this. This is the reason he betrays Io, right? Jones requesting access to restricted file 8752. This is Agent Jones requesting access to restricted file 8752. Oh, really? <laughs> no time to stabilize reality, but plenty of time to revoke my credentials. <laughs> this is Agent Jones requesting access to all materials related to the seven. Does he actually like get it or is this just something goofy? Oh, okay. And so he does, defecting from the Imagined Order and breaking into the bridge to search for his sought-after files. He hatches a plan and makes a break for the Zero Point, lining it up to a certain someone just in time. Come on, come on. Oh, please work, please work. Oh, it worked! We did it! Wait, but who's in there though? Who's in there? It's the rock! It's the one the rock shots in! Look, he does it himself by throwing a rift and takes it one. Okay. Oh! Oh! I forgot how brittle this is. Dang. I can get you the Geno. And the sisters. I can get you all of them. <laughs> but I need your help to fix that. You have a deal. Wait a second, so he's just like, Yo, I can get you to Geno. I'm going to refuse to elaborate. Um, but like, I'm going to refuse to elaborate. Uh, but I can get you to Geno. And he's like, yeah, I didn't know you were chill like that. <laughs> for now. Oh, he said. Very reassuring. Time to get to work. Wait a second, I saw this online somewhere. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Seven, who has been searching for Jeno for literal centuries. When Jones offers him the location of the enigmatic leader of the IO, the oh, Foundation that seven never come back to the story. I hope they do. Stable. But it's too far gone, and the Foundation has to trap himself inside of a massive rock tower, and Jones must- Oh, wait, he had to get himself trapped inside there? I thought he just, like, made it. I didn't know he had to get trapped inside. ...in the loop. The contained zero-point explosion sends waves of wild and feral nature across the island, turning it into a primal landscape. Second worst season ever. ...where emerges a character named Raz, a local who has seen nightmares- I'll get you, Geno. Shit, that'd be impossible. <laughs> ...of the spire. He finds crystals from the spire and they lead him to a forbidden artifact, a shard from the chapter one cube. This immediately corrupts him, turning him evil. We're able to separate them in time, but it's too late. He's mm, already okay. got the attention of an evil faction. This faction is a swarm of aliens and they arrive on the island. They're known as the Chimera and Sloan. Thing is, we got like, um, what's the opposite of peak? We got the opposite of peak and then the ne literal next season we got peak. No choice but to fight them. The aliens go around the map abducting different people. Gotta go to bed, night. All right, see ya, bro. There's a mole in their organization. She feeds the mole information, like where the location of the IO secret base is. And while this mm. location is valid, Sloan is hiding something more important: Operation Skyfire. Her plan is to sneak huge bombs onto the mothership when Corny Crops is abducted and detonate them, destroying the ship from within.
This was such a good event, bro. I like, I love this event so much. <laughs> bro, he's about to like, this is like the fate of the island itself, and this dude's over here just like, with a bum, bum, bum. Oh, crap. Alright, I remember. Does anyone know, is this the OG Kevin the Cube? Is this OG Kevin? Or is this just a different cube? Once we're in the induction chamber, Sloan arms the bombs, but the aliens pull something we never saw coming. Another Q appears. We disarm it and remove the purple corruption from it, but not before we realize we are riding in an elevator straight to the top of the mothership. Here it is revealed that the Chimera- It's the OG? Okay. ...are just an enslaved army working for the real villains. The last reality. We turned them into Blevin. Right, I remember seeing this and I was like... <laughs> I re my I remember seeing this with my friends and my <laughs> my friend just yelled like Kevin's a dad <laughs> like Yeah, see, this uh, this is the reason, like, I don't like it. It's because it showed, like, next season, it's going to be, like, everything's destroyed, everything's gone, everything's, like, just completely in ruin. And then, like, we go on there, and it's, like, um, there's, like, a little cube pyramid on the map. It was, it was, it wasn't anything like this, and that kind of sucked. Mothership explodes and sends all of the cubes hurtling down towards the island. They begin to converge in the center as they obey their leader, a sinister being who has survived for millennia and subjugated hundreds of universes to her wrath, the Cube Queen. Her Spooky. motivations are unlike any previous villain. Instead of wielding the power of the Zero Point for herself, she wants to use it to destroy every single living thing in every universe across the multiverse, hence the name, The Last Reality. The Queen makes a Oh, that's why they're- that's why they're called that, okay. I didn't actually know that. That's that's cool. The entire fleet here to conquer Reality Zero, while Sloane interrogates and tortures Jones for anything that she can find. The Foundation, who was ejected from the Zero Point months ago, lands in Gotham City, and Batman helps him recreate the sideways rift that get him back to the rest of the Seven. And in our darkest hour, they have a plan to save the island. Oh wait, 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 wait. This I'm 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 gonna pause it. When it happens, you know what I'm talking about, right? Wake him up. Spooky. You just had to be the hero, Jones. You know what happens to heroes? They uh live to fight another day? Not this time. Do it. No no no, don't do it, don't do it, don't this isn't personal, Jones. Though I do plan to enjoy it. Would someone see what that is? This is when Fortnite peaked. This one scene, Fortnite peaked. <laughs> I already know what's happening. Impossible. I watched you die. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
This one image broke the internet when it happened. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was so funny when it happened. I got over it. <laughs> also, remember this is. Uh, hold on. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is canonically in Fortnite, like, one of the seven smartest people in all of reality to, like, break the loop. Only, like, seven people have done it. And he's, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is one of them. <sighs> if you didn't bust out in laughter when you saw that, I'm sorry, your sense of humor was terrible. I I want that gun in the game. I want them to add a gun like that. Wait, did Jonesy break the loop? No, because he's in the ma he's in the imagined order. So like he already is, has immunity from the loop. Oh, that's sick. I didn't laugh, I joyfully galloped. It's done. Initiate phase two. Looper spotted. That is our way in. Hold them off. Guys, it's like the bunkers from chapter five. It's literally the chapter five bunkers. For a certified W, thanks, bro. What a day, am I right? <laughs> That's like something you like when you're following a Skyrim NPC. It's like, what a day, am I right? Like as like reality is just destabilizing. It's just like, what a day, am I right? 